Hello everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to my How to Build series, where I show you to build cool stuff inside of Minecraft, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to build my sensor door. Now, I've built one of these in the past, however, due to updates, the whole hitbox of a golem or any mobs pretty much can't be pushed anymore by your character, so I had to go and make a new sensor door using the shulkers. Uh, yes, I've been using the shulkers a lot. I actually built, I was going to do a whole five builds video with the shulkers, but I decided not to because I actually found out two new things about the shulkers that I didn't know of and I've never even seen on other videos, but they can do a few, I'll get over it when we get i'll get into it later on but before we actually jump into this build like my last sensor door i already know you can build a simple door sometimes people don't know that i know how to build simple redstone stuff <laughs> but i already know about this door and, and heck you know what i can even show how to build this one again i've showed how to build this door a million times i could build this door in my sleep so <laughs> here is this sensor door so we're going to be using shulkers to open up our sensor door this is pretty much like a walmart door or any sort of supermarket door grocery door it doesn't really matter what it is it's just a sliding glass door when you go over to it it will sense that you're there and open up the door now it's pretty slow compared to my old sensor door because all you have to do is just push over the iron golem but once he notices you as you can see it'll open up the door letting us through now sometimes on console they take a little while to notice we're there but on pc you should be absolutely fine and for pocket edition people don't build it <laughs> just don't build it because it's not going to work the same way on pocket edition if you want to have a little bit more of an in-depth on how to make certain things with shulkers Go watch my eye scanner tutorial door that I go way more in depth with what you could possibly do on pocket edition with these dudes. But like I said, on pocket edition, this will not work the same way for you because shulkers have a radius on when they update. So if you want to know what to do with a shulker, go check out my eye scanner door. I have a link to it in the description below. So let me go ahead and do this one more time. So just walk over here, make sure he can see you right there. He'll send you open up the door, letting us through. Now, like I said, it's pretty slow. I know but I have no other way of making a sensor door right now that I know of. Since the hitboxes of the iron golems no longer work, you can't just open them up right away. So let's go ahead and start building this thing, guys. All right, guys, so to get things started off with this door, we're gonna go ahead and place in the door itself by placing in three sticky pistons facing towards us and three glass blocks in front of them. Then we're gonna skip over three blocks, one, two, three, place in three more glass blocks and three more sticky pistons right in front of those glass blocks like so. Now we're going to set up the redstone to close and open up the door. So we're going to come over to the backhand side, skip over one block on this side, place in a block, place a redstone torch on top of it, and two blocks away from that side of the door with two pieces of redstone. That should close up one whole side. And then on this side, we're just going to come one in next to it, place a redstone torch, place a block on top of it, and place a piece of redstone right here as well. Now what we're going to do is connect both sides together so we can open and close the door simultaneously. So we're going to come right underneath all the pistons and glass and dig down one block. So just dig down one block until you can see everything going all the way over to that redstone torch. Then right underneath it right here, we're going to dig out four blocks starting from this side of the piston. So one, two, three, four, like so. Take out your redstone and connect all of this together. So now if we were to take out a lever and place it off any of this redstone and flip it down, the door should open up. Flip it up. The door should close. Open and close perfect that's what we want now we're gonna go ahead and set up our shulkers now this is one of the new things that i figured out with shulkers and that is they can activate pressure plates if you did not know they can activate pressure plates and then another thing is they can shoot each other so make sure they can't hit each other because if they hit each other they will non-stop shoot at each other until one of them dies so to start things off just place a block up next to the redstone place a shulker on the bottom portion of this block make sure he's facing downwards then we're going to place a block underneath them with a pressure plate underneath the shulker so now when he sees us and detects us his little shulker case will open up hitting the bottom pressure plate opening up the door and we're going to do the same thing on this side with another shulker come up a block place a shulker facing downwards and then right underneath the shulker we're going to place in a block with a pressure plate on top of it and that's pretty much how everything is working guys so once they see us and activate the pressure plate it will open up so if you want to actually test it out real quick switch it over to survival and as you can see once he detects me He'll swirl this thing open. It will hit that pressure plate and open up the door. So, boop, door opens up. And now I'm getting a shot at by a shulker shot. Now, another thing we're going to have to do is just make sure these shulkers can't see each other at all. Because, like I said, because, like I said, if somehow their shot gets to another one of them, they will nonstop shoot at each other until one of them dies. So, I like to place a block right here, closing off everything. And then just come up blocks on this side, blocks on this side. Just make sure they cannot see each other. And that should be perfectly fine. Now all we have to do is just clean up the area. So I'm going to be using a black hardened clay and I'm also going to be using stone brick stairs because we have to make sure that they can see us to open up our sensor door. So to make sure that they can see us, we're going to place a block right here and then a staircase right here so you can see us right through the staircase. Now, if you don't mind seeing the piston, I recommend using a slab here. I highly recommend using a slab right here if you don't care about seeing the piston however like me i do care about seeing the piston so i like to place a staircase here instead so i do not have to see the piston place another block here and then just go ahead and close it up like that so now we can see us through that one little high block 
and then if you want to on this side place another block here and here so you don't have to see anything up there or down there and then all we have to do is just fill in this side with our blocks of choice for our walling i'm gonna go ahead and use blue like i always do so take out my blue and place in some blue right along this whole area closing it up so that is one whole side done and we're gonna do the same thing on this side as well so block staircase or slab if you want to I highly recommend using a slab but if you don't like seeing the pistons like me use a staircase block then come up some more blocks right here place two more right here one here and one right here so we don't have to see any of the redstone then just take out our block color of choice and fill in the rest of it right here like that and then you know what before we move on come down here and place in a slab upside down underneath your pistons like that so make sure you use colors that you want to use i'm going to be using quartz but you can use whatever you want and then place two normal blocks here make sure you place slabs here or else it will cut off the redstone breaking the bill just giving you a heads up there make sure you use slabs there so i'm going to fill in the rest of my floor right here and right here and then we're just going to do the same thing on this side but obviously we don't have shulkers on this side so we don't need to do the whole staircase thing but i like to make sure everything does look even so what i did was i used purple blocks to take up the space of the shulkers since they pretty much have the same color so we're going to do the same thing like we did over here just come up a block place a staircase come up a block and then place in some more blocks here and then i just placed a purple block off the backhand side so it kind of looks like the shulker on that side i'm going to do the same thing over here block staircase block three more blocks and then a purple block off the backhand side and then just take out our colors of choice and fill it in so we no longer have to see any of the redstone like that and do the same thing on this side as well and guys you are completely done all you have to do is just put a cap on it as well i like to put some sort of light in here so i take out some sea lanterns and i place sea lanterns all across these four blocks right here and then you can use whatever color you want here and just place it right above it like that but there you guys have it your sensor door is completely done so let's go ahead and test it out by switching over to survival just walk over here make sure the shulker can see you you'll open the door and we can go ahead and walk through our sensor door same thing on this and that kind of looks weird that i wish i kind of fixed that <laughs> same thing on this side just walk here make sure your shulker can see you he will sense that you are here and then he will open up the door like i said on console sometimes it could take a little bit longer on pc it should do it right away and then for an added bonus i said i'd build this very simple door right here for you this thing is so i've built this thing so many times it doesn't even matter anymore so what we're gonna do is just dig out a two by three spacing super easy two by three spacing place redstone down on the inside boop, 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 boop. place in blocks on both sides Placing your pressure plates on top of both those blocks. As you can see, the redstone came on when I hit it. Perfect. Boom, boom. That's what we want. Break out two more here. Break out two more here. Place in redstone here. Place in redstone here. Come up a block. Place redstone. Place redstone. I'm going to go really quick, guys, because this is just so, so simple to build. Place in three sticky pistons off the sides of them. One, two, three. Same thing on this side. Place in three sticky pistons. One, two, three. Place a block on top of the redstone torch. Redstone. Do the same thing on this side. Block on top of the redstone torch. Redstone. And that's it. So see, boom, opens up boop closes boop opens up boop closes now what you have to do is just take out slabs place a slab right here underneath it here right underneath here two blocks then place in your glass blocks in front of them boom boom and then all you have to do is just clean it up so i'm going to quickly take out a door frame for it there we go place my door frame right around it so we don't have to see any of that redstone boom boom and that guys you're done that's it <laughs> super super easy sliding glass door so there we go there we go hide up the redstone up here as well boom there we go so now we can walk in there we go but there you guys have it that's how you build a sensor door on minecraft using shulkers if you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace